Titans Ed here, back to do another video review. Going to be reviewing Sandstorm. Oh my god, was I happy when I found this figure. This is an awesome figure. Um, and yes, those are very large tires. That is a custom tire. Um, there's no way a vehicle like this would be street legal. Um, at all. Yeah, this is supposed to be like his, I guess his dune buggy mode. I'm not sure what the box calls it. Um. Uh. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I really like it. And, oh, the orange on this is throwing my color balance just completely out of whack. That's what you get when you just, when you have to use the front facing camera on your iPhone. But yeah. I, I do like this. I like his helicopter or his, uh, his, uh, vault or, um, vertical takeoff and landing vehicle mode a little better. I really do. Um, so, speaking of the, the gun, pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that's one problem. The only problem I have, when the gun's not attached, this little bit just comes off so freaking easily. And by the way, Unlike Springer, if I can do this without messing up my color balance, you can see the windows sit a lot better on here, and it's a shame because they get covered up by that piece, but yeah. Transform them. Go ahead and move that piece up. Flip these guys up. Uh, Sandstorm appeared... I cannot remember what episode he showed up in, but he... Sh okay, I remember now. It's the episode... I don't remember its title... But when um, Scourge and Cyclonus land on a, a planet which resembles Cybertron during its golden age, um, Sandstorm happens to be one of the occupants who, kind of like in the city of, kind of like this in the, uh, the city of light where Drift got his sword, Cybertronians who wanted to stay neutral and didn't want to get involved in the Great War. Uh, same idea. But Sandstorm recognized how evil the Decepticons were and chose to become an Autobot and fight. Uh, that was his first episode. I think his next episode he was memorable for was actually teaming up with um, Octane, one of the other new Triple Changers for that series. Um, and I, I'm not and this Maybe someone can answer this in the comments who sees it, who knows a little bit more about better knowledge about Transformers than I do, but... Did Octane abandon the Decepticons and join the Autobots during that time? Was Did he just, like, leave? Or did he just say, you know, I'll keep my Decepticon symbol, but I don't really like their ideas anymore? That's something that always bugged me when I watched the G1 cartoon. You know, did, San, did uh, Octane abandon the Decepticons and go, you know, wor work with uh, Sandstorm? Uh, but this is his vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Oh my god, this is awesome! I love this vehicle mode so much. It is my absolute favorite of all time. Um, both propellers can turn in different directions. Yeah, you got the wheel under there. Get over it. Uh, but this is just freaking awesome! Easily one of my favorites. I really love this. The first time I saw this vehicle mode on the box art for uh, Metroplex. And I was like, oh my god, I gotta have this fig figure. This is so cool. I really do like it. Now, as I said in my Springer review, his gun attaches similarly to Springer's. It's this friction joint. And this is a lot... W it holds there in place just fine and you can actually fold this forward and it has another extra little landing gear down there so you can actually keep it attached and it doesn't look weird when it's land when it's sitting on the ground it you know it has landing gear it's meant to be there it does kind of sit at an angle oh and for anybody who cares in the official instructions it says to have these bits you know sitting like this and having that little fin right in front of there, that that would not work if an engine was right there. That would 
completely either tear off that fin or would do significant damage to the engine. So I actually flip those in for transformation. It's the only thing I vary it from the instructions. You know, just because it clears up that area so it can take off and land. But still, this is... Now, I said there was another way to attach this. He has oh, two holes. Those two holes would actually line up in vehicle mode where the gun is attached in his dune buggy mode. That first hole fits the gun right on top. I kind of like that just a little bit more. It gives it a full range of motion up, sort of down, 360 degrees. That works a lot better in my opinion. I kind of like it like that. Especially because it's really hollow underneath. I mean, that's really, really hollow. If I'll give Springer one thing, his gun, hold on, his gun, gun, 25 and I'm already having senior moments, <laughs> isn't hollow, or isn't terribly hollow. It at least looks filled in. This, very hollow. I don't like that, but eh, take what you can get. This is really cool. I do love this alternate mode, like I've said so many times before. Best in a long time. Um, gonna put him in robot mode. I don't know if Sandstorm has shown up uh, in any, besides IDW, I don't know if he showed up in Dreamwave or G1, or the G1 comics by Marvel. Uh, I know in, I think, in the IDW ones, he's supposed to be a, another wrecker like Springer. Um, and his bio on his box kind of put, kind of paints him as like this super daredevil who out, goes out of his way to take risks to have fun, even on the battlefield, having most Autobots not like him in a battlefield, but... Take him to go to a good party, and everyone's gonna ha everyone's gonna have a good time. Um, but yeah. Now I've seen the G one toy, and his head is actually different than the G one toy. I honestly can't remember the cartoon. Can't remember the cartoon to save my life right now. But his uh, G one toy had a battle mask head. This one has an open face. Again, I think these are supposed to be based on the IDW comics. And I think in there he has an open face rather than a battle mask face. Now, this is how I have him displayed in robot mode. Like I said, there's that face. Oh, that's horrible white balancing. I've got to figure out a way to fix that. But... And he does have, unlike Springer, has this humongous backpack. He is incredibly top-heavy. But a good trade. Uh, if you keep the the VTOL engines like this, you know, straight back like this, he can balance himself pretty well. You start moving them back for display reasons, and yeah, he's just going to start tipping over. You could balance him that way, and I've done it. It's just really hard. Now, officially... Like the G1 toy, that's supposed to be like that. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I can understand the G1 toy doing this. I can't understand why the instructions tell you to do that. That's just stupid. I just folded, folded over and back down because it just looks better. It looks cleaner. It looks a little bit. It looks awesome. Um. Like I said, he guns with his gun. Uh, honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of his gun. This is where I think a third-party company needs to come in and make something a little better, like a like a Gatling gun or something. Because this is uh, uh, not that good. I'll be honest. Probably the only downside to the figure. But the rest of it, just flipping awesome. I find my I found mine at a Target. At all places, especially a Target, which not one week before had told me that they were no longer putting any new toys in for the next month as they were resetting or refacing all their shelves. I walk in next, I walk in one week later, look what I find on the shelf. 
seriously. Left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing half the time. Ah, uh, but that's my city for you. Yeah, everything shows up a month late. A day late and a dollar short. Um, but yeah. If you can't find this figure, pick him up. Highly recommend it. Wouldn't pay more than $25. BBTS is posting him for about $30. If you can't find him anywhere else and you absolutely need him now, go ahead. Otherwise, look for him in Target, some Walmarts, and Toys R Us. Yeah. Really, this is a great figure. You know, I know Springer is a good figure, but I really think he's better. I really do. I just think he's the better version of this mold. I mean, I know he's been a, he's been extensively remolded compared to Springer, but I just think he's a lot better. If I have to say only one other complaint about the robot mode, oh god, that orange is not helping my filter. See the Autobot symbol? It's got cut off by a line in his chest. I can't tell, but it looks like they tried to paint inside the line. And it kind of looks like the Autobot symbol has lost an eye. Um, this might be a job for repo labels. So, other than that, this is a really great figure. Again, go pick him up if you can find him. Until next time, this is Titan Z saying, I'll see you when I see you.